Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So in this one here, I want to talk about the princess and why I believe she's likely going to appear in episode 14. I also want to talk about the finale being delayed, but just a little bit because I want to clarify a few things. I see some confusion out there. I did try to explain it the best I could in my, my video that I posted yesterday, but I guess I was more rambling than anything. I was just kind of giving my thoughts on it because it just happened. I was kind of shocked. I was like, what? We actually got an episode that was delayed and it was the last episode, the episode that we're building to, that this whole entire season was building to. That's actually been delayed until whenever. So I want to clarify a few things there and then, yeah, focus on this teaser here that we got of Ezekiel and Jerry and their trip to the Commonwealth, or I guess technically meeting Stephanie, but anyways, yeah, it'll, it'll lead there. Before we begin, I do have to warn you for spoilers, obviously, for The Walking Dead Season 10, episodes, I mean, 1 to 13. And also a few things. One, the Q&A will be posted tomorrow. It was supposed to come out today, but then the finale delayed news came out, so I had to do that video last night. And so that's why this video here is coming out today, and also I will be doing another one coming out later on today. That one's going to focus on Carol, Negan, and Daryl, and just this episode and stuff. Also, a lot of you guys have been suggesting a lot of things to do. I mean, the thing is, with this finale being delayed, it's not going to affect my channel that much. Like, it'll affect it by, in a sense of just like one week, right? Like, I can't post the review that Sunday, but I'll be able to post it later on in the summer or whenever it airs. So it doesn't really affect my channel at all. I'll be doing the same exact thing as I usually do in the summer. I just post walking to content whenever there's news and stuff like that. But what a lot of you guys were suggesting, and I was thinking about it just because of what's going on right now, and because I do have a lot of time now, I think I might actually rewatch older episodes of The Walking Dead and review them. And I might go in order, or I might go based off of the seasons, or I might do half seasons and just post them like every Sunday. This way you guys are getting something. So maybe I'll do like a, um, I don't know, half season review or a story arc review on something or my favorite episode review every Sunday. Just keep that going for a little bit because we were supposed to get walking to content every single Sunday this year. And I mean, what a bad time for all this stuff to happen. Like the one year we're supposed to get content literally from February, whenever this half season started, up until the end of November, we were supposed to be talking about The Walking Dead all year long. And then this happens, which is just crazy. So I will be doing that. And a lot of you guys want Black Ops Zombies content. So I probably will post like a couple gameplay videos here and there once a week. Nothing anytime soon, probably in like a month or so, because we're probably gonna have a long wait. I mean, I don't know when this episode's gonna air. It's gonna be so weird. Like we're gonna be taking this thing, I think, week by week. I personally don't see it airing anytime until like at minimum, likely in May but probably like June or July. Yeah, I feel safe with saying like July, August around there. July for sure, I think. That episode will air. They might do a special of some sorts in August, July, August. We'll have that episode air and then we'll have the world beyond. We can start reviewing that. We'll review season one. And then maybe that will lead into season 11 of The Walking Dead. I'm not sure how much they're going to have filmed by then, if they can even have season 11 air in October, or if they'll do Fear the Walking Dead season 6. We'll have to, yeah, I'm sure they're working all, all of it out right now. But what I do want to clarify is the reason why this has been delayed is because post-production, they can't do any of it. <laughs> like, like That's the reason. It seems like a lot of people do understand, but there are some people who are saying, well, they filmed it already. How was the episode not done? Like, they filmed this months ago. Well, it's because with post-production, Greg Nicotero actually responded to all of this, and he did say that, like, when they work on all that stuff, like special effects and mixing, you know, all of that stuff, it can last up to three weeks before the episode airs. And I do think the finale is going to be a pretty big episode. And I think the last few weeks as well, they've probably been limited in how much they can work on these episodes. So I think it kind of makes sense. That is just the reason. It's sad that it's like the last episode. I really hate that because, yeah, we were all excited to see Maggie return, right? Because that's the episode I think she's going to return in. But, I mean, we'll get it at some point. We still have two more episodes to talk about. Episode 14 airing this Sunday. That's four days away. And then we also have episode 15, which is the week after. I'm wondering if that episode's going to be a big episode in terms of just it being a massive cliffhanger. Just because Angela Kang in season nine last year, she did the Whisper of Pikes, right? Like that was the big cliffhanger for that part of the season. But she did also say that this season ends on a cliffhanger. And so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the, the flow of all this is going to work out. Honestly, I'm a little confused about it all because if this season is going to end on a cliffhanger and I do expect it's going to end with Maggie returning and the Commonwealth showing up and we're going to actually see them and it's going to be like the New World Order arc it's going to be so insane and it's going to like end the season and you know build the hype for season 11 now it could feel random I don't know it depends on what happens in 14 and 15 obviously but 
it could feel so random to just have that moment happen out of nowhere. Like, what if 15 doesn't end with a cliffhanger and it ends in a way where it's like, you know, it's just a casual episode. And then you watch 16 and there's not really that much hype for it. And then that ends in a cliffhanger. It's kind of weird. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's, you know, obviously safety first and all that. It's just a crazy situation in the world. You know, there are more important things in the world right now. But yeah, I'm just interested in seeing what they're going to do with this. I am hyped for the finale. I'm, I'm unbelievably hyped. Like if we get to see the Commonwealth and Maggie in that finale, even if we get to see them in episode 15, I mean, I am, I'm going to freak out because I've been waiting for this for a long time. Ever since Maggie left the show, we've always theorized that she would return with the Commonwealth, but if she actually does, that's just going to be insane. Even if she doesn't and she just returns in general, but we still see the Commonwealth. I mean, I don't know. I think Maggie returning with them, I think that's perfect, to be honest. It's a perfect way to set them up. Eugene's been talking with Stephanie. You know, like this could actually all work out. I don't know. It could, it could be separate. We'll see. Maybe episode 15 ends with the Commonwealth showing up. I have no idea. But let's talk about that a little bit because, yeah, the finale is delayed, but we're, we're going to be talking about that for a while. Let's actually focus on these episodes here. Let's not let this bad news actually like destroy is right now because it is sad i was super sad about it yesterday like come on i was just waiting for this moment for so long and then that had to happen but let's focus on episode 14 and 15 because there's still a lot of exciting things that happen in this teaser here we see ezekiel he says goodbye to jerry which you know ezekiel's going to be going on this trip with eugene and yumiko to go meet stephanie the reason why they're doing it, originally I thought the motivation was going to be because of Ezekiel's illness, right? Because he has cancer. I thought, you know, maybe they think that the Commonwealth have way more technology. Maybe Eugene learns from them that they have 50,000 people or whatever, just like they do in the comic. But it seems like the motivation is that, I mean, the, the hilltops destroyed. They could all go back to Alexandria, sure. But because Eugene has this date or whatever, right, to meet with Stephanie, you might as well go and do that. This community could be a really good place. They could have a lot of resources. They actually could help us out. So I, you know, he's going to take a chance and do that. And we see it in this shot here. He seems pretty determined to go and do this. Like Eugene's going to go and find Stephanie. He's going to find out what this is all about because it could help. And it might, he could die in the process, but it might be worth it sort of thing, right? So we see their trip actually happen. And that's, this is their trip to the Commonwealth. And to be honest, as a comic fan, this is so unreal to me to think that we're actually in this phase of the story right now. Everything's really mixed up. Like this trip right here happens in issue 170, but where we're at in the Whisper War is like issue 155, 56, but kind of like around 162, 160, or I guess like 160, 161. Everything is everywhere. We've re remixed stuff so much, but you know what? I am really happy that we've done this because that was one of my criticisms of the comic was that issues like what, 150, 155 up to like 175. Not a lot happened. Like, really not a lot happened. Everything was so slow. You could have crunched all that in. And that's what Angela King is doing. She's actually remixing a lot of this stuff. We're meeting the Commonwealth right after they lost the Hilltop. Right after Alpha's death, we're meeting the Commonwealth. That happens like 20 issues later or something like that in the comics. So I'm happy with what she's doing. But before we do get to the Commonwealth, I do think at the very end of the episode, we're going to meet the princess. I just, I think it's smart to end in that way, to be honest. We see their trip, we actually see them in the city. And I think that's what gives it away to me personally, is that we actually see them in the city and they're like looking at something. They seem shocked. And I feel like that's probably going to be one of the last shots of the episode. Might not be the last shot, but you know, it'll be one of the last shots. It'll be near the end. After their whole trip to this place, they'll come across the princess and she'll be, hopefully she's wearing her pink jacket and all that. And she just looks crazy. Her real name is actually Juanita Sanchez, but she just goes as the princess, which I think is cool. Like I just call her princess. Everyone calls her princess. It's going to be interesting because King Ezekiel is here right? He's not really, I guess he's not the king anymore. No one calls him King Ezekiel. He's just Ezekiel. I actually wonder if a relationship could form there because Angela King changes stuff up a lot. I know Ezekiel and Carol have that whole thing, so that probably won't happen, but Ezekiel at this point was dead in the comic, so this is all brand new territory, right? In the comic, actually, Princess is with Mercer, a character we're likely going to meet in season 11, so that could happen there. We could still get that relationship, but something happening with Ezekiel I don't know, that'd be kind of interesting because they're just like royalty characters, right? But I doubt it though, because Ezekiel's, you know, he's pretty in love with Carol. I think in episode 14, we're going to meet her. That's my prediction. And I, I feel pretty confident in saying that. And then I think in episode 15, we're going to spend a lot of time with her because there was like a spoilery synopsis for episode 15. And it basically confirmed that Eugene and them spend time with the princess. And usually when there's a, a synopsis like that, 
it's because something happened in the episode before. Because if we watch 14, there's nothing with the princess. They wouldn't reveal it in a synopsis when you haven't watched the episode, like for the upcoming one. Once you watch 14, you read the synopsis. It says anything about the princess. The reason why is because you likely just saw the princess, right? They wouldn't spoil anything like that. So I think she's going to be showing up at the end. I think it's going to be super cool to see. And then, yeah, I think at the end, they're just going to keep traveling on. And they are almost at the point, honestly, where in, in episode 15 they could actually make it to the real yard and they can actually see the Commonwealth. Like that is the, I guess, cliffhanger for that episode. Like, I don't know what's going to happen with Daryl, Carol, Negan, Beta, all of that. I'm going to talk about that later on in the video, but it's possible that 15 ends with them meeting the Commonwealth and we just see them. Maybe Maggie's there. I'm not exactly sure, but it'll just end right there. And then in 16, maybe they all return to help defeat the Whisperers. Like everything's kind of mixed up right now. We're meeting the Commonwealth at the same exact time as the Horde is going to be going through Alexandria or or wherever. We're in a really weird place. I'm not even actually sure if the Horde's going to be going through Alexandria, to be honest. I feel like they're going to be dealing with it elsewhere, just because no one's returning back there. And I don't know if they want to destroy another community. I feel like Beta would likely go there because he's been there recently. It makes sense that he's going to go there because we see, obviously, in this shot here, he's reacting to Elva's death. So he's going to do that. But post your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys are all thinking. Do you think we're going to see the princess in this episode. How hyped are you for 14 and 15? We're in this different phase now in the story where Alpha's gone, Michonne is gone now, Beta's going to react. I think we're going to get one final battle. It's probably going to happen at the very end of 15, but most likely in 16, just based off the synopsis and also the title of the episode is A Certain Doom, right? So I think we're going to get a big moment there. A character could die, someone can get Andrea's death. You know, we got to learn of Connie's fate. Are we going to learn that in 14? Probably not. Maybe in 15 or in 16. I'm sure we're going to learn of her fate soon. Was she bitten on her neck like Andrea? Are we going to have that very heartbreaking scene between Daryl and Connie where Daryl has to kill her, you know, because she's going to turn and it's just like this. I mean, you comic fans know, right? If you if you read the Rick and Andrea issue, that was a really hard. That was a sad issue. They could do the same here with Daryl and Connie, and yeah, that just, that would be hard. But post your thoughts down below, let me know what you guys are all thinking, and I'll see you guys in the next one.